This video will cover the topic using a given zero to write a polynomial as a product of linear factors, complex zeros. Solving this type of problem primarily involves the use of polynomial long division as well as the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all of this divided by a 2 times a, provided that the function is in the form of a times x squared plus bx plus c. I will go over the process of polynomial long division while we work on an example together. So let's get started. For the polynomial below, negative 2 is a 0. f of x is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 46x plus 116. Express f of x as a product of linear factors. Because it is given that negative 2 is a 0, we know that x plus 2 is going to be a factor of the polynomial given to us. Since x plus 2 is a factor of our original polynomial, we know that x plus 2 times some other function, which we're going to call q of x, is equal to f of x, which is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 46x plus 116. So how do we know what function q of x is? This is where the process of polynomial long division comes into play. By using polynomial long division, we can solve for q of x. We do this by dividing x cubed minus 4x squared plus 46x plus 116 by x plus 2. This operation is written out in the form shown here. The first step is to find a term, which will later be written here, where that term multiplied by x plus 2 will result in a x cubed. A term that satisfies this property is x squared, since x squared times x is x cubed, and then x squared times 2 is positive 2 x squared. We're going to subtract which results in 0x cubed minus 6x squared. We then carry the remaining terms down and then we will find another term which will go here where that term multiplied by x plus 2 will result in a negative 6x squared. A term that satisfies this property is negative 6x. Since negative 6x times x is negative 6x squared, and the negative 6x times positive 2 is negative 12x. We will then subtract again and this results in 0x squared plus 58x, since two negatives cancel out and turn into a positive sign. We will then carry down our positive 116. We now need to find one more term, where that term times x is equal to 58x. This happens to be positive 58. And 58 times x is 58x. And then 58 times positive 2 is positive 116. If we subtract this, like we did in the previous steps, we get 0. So, our function q of x is x squared minus 6x plus 58. So this does make sense 
But where does the quadratic formula come in? You said earlier we would be using it. The problem states that we need to write the polynomial as a product of linear factors. So far, we have x plus 2 times x squared minus 6x plus 58. However, x squared minus 6x plus 58 is not a linear factor, so we need to simplify this a little further. In order to simplify this, we use the quadratic formula. By using the quadratic formula on q of x, we get that x is equal to negative negative 6, which is positive 6, plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times 58 divided by 2. 2 is just multiplied by 1, and 4 is multiplied by 1, since the a term here is assumed to be a 1 if there is no coefficient in front of it. This is simplified down further to 6 plus or minus 14i divided by 2. There is an i here since the number inside of the square root ends up being negative. When you have to take the square root of a negative number, we get an imaginary number, which is denoted by the i here. If we wanted to simplify this even further, we would get 3 plus or minus 7i. Because we get x is equal to 3 plus or minus 7i, another factor we have is x minus 3 plus or minus 7i. So our function or polynomial f of x is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 3 plus 7i times x minus 3 minus 7i. Now, all of our factors that we're multiplying together are linear. So this is our final answer. Let me make sure I understand the whole process. First, we use the zero given to us to find a linear factor of the quadratic. Then, using polynomial long division, we find the quadratic factor and then use the quadratic formula to factor this even further. Is that right? That's exactly right. Good job.